Um, mm-hmm. I'm hoping to launch um, a writer's boot camp. So I know awesome. we've talked about this a little bit. I'm so excited for it. Um, the thought process is that, you know, helping authors just get those pages done, really feel good about their stories and have fun writing it, really focusing on that, those kind mm-hmm. of things. So um, I like, it's like an exercise for writing or like I was explaining to someone else, it's like yoga for writing. Yeah. So you're really stretching those creative bones and really, nice. you know, we're learning how to find your, find your rhythm. And then while we're also doing that, we're also going to be exploring the fandoms in which you will probably be in as mm-hmm. you're writing. So if you're writing fantasy, understanding who the people are that read fantasy and what they're, how they speak and, you know, what they're interested in and what tropes they're, you know, they like and don't like and their thoughts on those tropes. So it's going to be a lot of that stuff, which I think is going to be so much fun. And I'm really excited. Straight up awesome. To do yeah. That. Well, hey, that was that was a phenomenal <laughs> intro to this. So we're just going to keep on going. Hey, everybody, welcome to a special kind of uh, conversation on the Legend Makers show. We are joined by Amelia Leadham. Wonderful to have you, Amelia. She's come on as one of our mentors in the legend fiction community. So we're just going to pull her aside for the space of a cup of coffee and just chat a little bit about her and her background, what it is she's doing as a mentor. Well, she kind of already told us and uh, some of her plans for the Legend Makers Academy, which is what we're working on together in the new year. So first off, uh, why are you a part of Legend Fiction, Amelia? Oh man. Um, I mean, originally I just have to give it up, up for Katie Campbell. She's the reason. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I, I am a huge fan of writing and writers in general. And um, I've joined several different communities trying to find people that are just passionate about writing. And the one thing that I feel like is lacking that legend um, fiction is really providing for writers is a safe space to just be creative and not worry about, um, obviously faith is gonna be a forefront, but it's almost like more exploring the creativity side of it. Mm-hmm. And seeing the different people that are in legend fiction and the people that it's attracting has just made me so excited to be part of this community. Cause it's like, yes, we're all Catholic and um, Orthodox and we have a very strong, you know, foundation in our faith, but it's more, not more, but it's also part of just being creative and just creating mm-hmm. those stories in a creative way that, you know, then builds, you know, blossoms into faith, but it's like, mm-hmm. you're almost like your creativity first, and then your your faith just shines through. Yeah, agreed. Well, this is a question I was going to ask you in just a minute, so let's ask it now. Why do we need more faith inspired fiction? Um, I think that it's I it's it's a hard question to ask. I think because it's faith inspired fiction is when you think or you say faith inspired fiction, you think preachy, mm-hmm. but it's almost like we need people to be able to see what faith really is. Yeah, and in a lot of ways. Um, so I'm a huge fan of uh, romance um, and I love romance stories and I read all levels of romance. So, you know, from very steamy to not. And the thing I always see lacking in that, and I'm sure it's in other genres as well, is there's like almost like that faith background of like moral characters or characters you can relate with on a real level because it's mm-hmm. there's so much. So I think that the that's why I think it's so important to have faith is showing people what it means to be a good person or even not a good person in a way that's not good. Like mm-hmm. helping people to really understand what it means to what, yeah. what goodness looks like. Mm-hmm. I think and I like your point earlier about really leaning into the creativity. I think mm-hmm. there's, there is a massive difference between some, an idea like faithful fiction versus faith inspired fiction. The stress is more on the creativity and the fiction side, which is what our community is all about. Well, let's let's talk more about you. Let's let's hear more about your your story, your background. I think you've taken our Wheel of Legends quiz. Is that right? Yes. What did you come out as? Um, I think originally, oh, I'm gonna butcher the names. <laughs> so I am dyslexic, so everything is like <laughs> slightly oh, okay. off in my brain. But um, I believe it was the Chan Chalamancer. Chalaman, yes, that was yeah. the one I ultimately ended up with. But I originally got the Visionary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the so, Visionaries. So I kind of just joined both because I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm officially a. Um, yeah, the, the Chalamancers, they're like, um, yeah. they're like the royalty or they're like, they're fantastic at organizing and structuring and being in charge because they're all about creating communion uh, between people and, and so on. Well, tell us a little more about your story and, and what it is you do. And you went to JP Catholic. And um, so, yeah, what's, who's Amelia? Um, Amelia, I mean, 
I, I kind of pitch myself to most people when they ask me, like, especially in creative, um, the creative space, I'm a professional fangirl. So I am all about um, helping people and push, bringing them up by that fan, fan kind of mentality. So um, yes, I started, I went to JP Catholic, um, obviously started writing before that. I was actually thinking about this question earlier when you were mentioning it. I was like, I could say that I started writing when I was a young teen because that's when I started putting words on paper. But let's mm -hmm. be honest, most writers, we start when we're kids with our yeah. action figures. <laughs> like, exactly. So, I mean, writing wise, um, yeah, I started when I was a young uh, teen. I um, found this great website called fanfiction.net where, mm -hmm. you know, I just was publishing stories on there, meeting communities, um, learning how to, in a lot of ways, learning how to market because you have mm -hmm. to, build an audience so people will read your stuff. So mm -hmm. doing that. And then when I graduated, I went to JP Catholic, learned um, media. And um, the cool thing about JP Catholic is at least when I was there, I think they still do it, but they do a lot of um, business as well. So you're learning a lot of the business while you're also learning like how to write a script and how to mm -hmm. you know produce a movie. So did that. Then I moved on to working um, both um, marketing and both social media. And then um, some grassroots stuff for different companies that I ended up working for, for about eight years. And now I am just writing for myself, um, and helping other writers and, um, yeah, and just working a professional office job just to pay the bills. Cause I find that, um, for me, full-time, just creative kind of kills my creativity. So That's I like exhausting. to have an outlet. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Good. Well, well then, what is some of the things that you're doing now uh, with the Academy, the kind of workshops or what is your focus in, and uh, how you're collaborating with legend fiction to help, help authors create? Yeah. So I haven't done too much at this exact moment. But like I mentioned earlier, I'm kind getting of focusing going. on, yeah, we're getting going with um, the boot camp, and then um, we'll be, I'll also be um, doing some more market focused type um, classes. So not necessarily, the market changes so much. It's more about learning how to communicate with the people that are going to be reading your book. So mm -hmm. understanding their language. Um, I think I, I was joking about this um, with my husband. It's like Duolingo for your, mm -hmm. for your fandom. You need mm -hmm. to learn how to speak their language because if you can't, then you're going to alienate everyone basically. Um, so it's a lot of that and just fostering creativity and helping um, authors not get caught in the weeds of the writing process. Cause I don't know about, anybody else, but when I'm writing halfway through, I'm like, I hate this. I hate my life. I hate that I like to write. Like, so just kind of steering those negative thoughts away and kind of being like, mm -hmm. okay, no, let's, you know, let's keep it positive. Let's have fun. Cause when you're mm -hmm. having fun writing your, your readers are going to have fun reading it. Fantastic. I love that. We don't yet have that focus in the Academy <clears throat> where, uh, this kind of thinking about marketing and then baking that into your creativity and allowing one to influence the other. That's really exciting. I mean, I love marketing. So it's it's so cool to have somebody helping authors to start thinking that way, especially if they're younger. I remember starting out back in the old days, it was a, this terrible website. I actually looked it up recently and it still looks totally terrible, but <laughs> it's um, vintage. I mean, <clears throat> it's vintage. It's called nicestories.com. <laughs> okay. And I met some of the first like people who ever they were, well, they were mentoring me. They gave me good feedback and mm -hmm. I found a ton of other things to, to read. And I was on there all the time. Um, and then I kind of left that and tried to find other, other communities, start my own blog. And now with, um, with, with starting legend fiction, we've begun to realize it's, this is going to be good to start helping people create their own, uh, places online and then start following what you're doing with the workshops that you're offering, where as they're creating, they can also be, um, well, learning how to do marketing, especially if they're total beginners. So uh, you've described, you've mentioned like a, you're hosting workshops and boot camps, and you've actually come across about this in a really creative way or interesting way where you've got like a series of workshops that can be strung together because it's not just about one and done. You've learned the lesson. It's like, it's more about building a habit. Would you say, what's your thinking behind how you're going about it? Yeah. So, um, it is, it's like building a habit. So every class will start with kind of a motivational quote and um and then it's just about it's about you know every class you'll have your goals that you're gonna you know complete that week so whatever it is the pages you're gonna fill out the um audiences or the memes you know what i mean you're just gonna try to figure out like what's going on in your community and then 
And then we just sit down and we just talk. So it's a little free form and it's a little bit structured, but then it, it is at the end, you were going to be building on that. So, okay, so here's what you've talked about and learned. So here are your questions that you're going to work on for next week. And um, it's about, yeah, because because if it's a one and done, it's not as a motivational. You need mm-hmm. to keep keep going, keep committing to it. Yeah. And then so, as a group too, right? People join mm-hmm. sort of in clusters or in groups and kind of go through this with you and you're very exactly. hands-on with them, aren't you? Yeah. So, I mean, I've started groups before. So this is how it was inspired. Um, I got together a bunch of um, my writer friends and I was like, let's just meet every couple of months and, you know, and give each other feedback and just promote, you know, like help each other, just support each other. And so that's kind of what I'm trying to foster too, is that uh, small groups of people who can really connect with each other and, and then share what they're finding, because that's Mm -hmm. half the, half the battle is just finding what's going on. You know what I mean? So it's just, oh, this cool video that I found that has all this information or these, these thoughts are, you know, circulating the internet right now. And so what do you guys, how do your stories, you know, continue that conversation? So Oh, um, one of the cool things, again, about the Academy and collaborating with people like yourself and Katie and Caitlin is that, um, yes, these workshops and courses are available to members of the community, but more excitingly, they're, they're, they're open and available to anybody anywhere in the world who wants to come join you. So um, apart from people checking out the Academy on Legend Fiction site, do you have your own website online where people can find you? I do. Um, I just reorganized it. So um, it's just amelialedum.com. Um, I have a pen name, Elizabeth Flint, and it's more, those books are more adults. So okay. if you're not into that, don't, don't click on those. It all has the information on there. I have some of my free stories. Um, like I said, I write a lot of romance. So also if that's not your thing, that's fine. <laughs> um, but there are ways to contact me on, um, if you want feedback on your stories, um, if you want that fangirl perspective, <laughs> like I said, professional fangirl, I love reading and giving that kind of feedback. So um, yeah, uh, you can always connect with me there. Um, information on the boot camp will also be there. So anyone mm-hmm. who's not part of Legend Fiction, it will be available to you guys for a, a small fee. So yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Well, hey, Amelia, this was awesome. I hope that people can check out amelialeadum.com. You can also head on over, if you're not already, at legendfiction.com. You can have a look at our academy. Uh, you can browse the blog. You can see all of the workshops that we're putting together. Uh, we're just getting started. 2023 is going to be a fun year. And uh, I hope that you come join us in the community where you can hang out and share memes and fan boy, fan girl at stuff with (laughs) Amelia and myself and all of the other members. So thanks again. Till next time, friends. Keep writing. God bless you.